Hey guys, Ignited here, and welcome back to a brand new Roblox game. And in today's video, we are going to be playing a brand new Roblox horror game called Pressure. It is by Urban Shade Hadle Division, and it takes place in this SCP-inspired universe. As we can see, it's inspired by Roblox stores, but alongside of that, it's inspired by SCP, SCP Containment Breach. We play as this D-Class personnel. I already know this, even, even though the description says nothing like this, because I played this game and failed multiple times during a recording session when I was trying to, like, record the audio, and I kept on not being able to it because the audio kept getting corrupted, or the video did. So, I'm really excited, but before this video again begins, don't forget to like, share the video, and hit that notification. I mean, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification. So, and so that's a personalized, so you never miss a video. I will be planning on op uploading other games if I can besides Roblox, but it's going to be free ones. So, I have the audio, so I'm muted. So I know about this a lot. I'll be explaining the lore along the way. But yeah, this video, this I'm really excited to play this game. And I hope you guys will enjoy it. Let's we'll stick around to the end. But yeah. <clears throat> This game has very interesting lore. It's not like some Doors inspired game. As loud. Also, I've made some progress and actually better at this than I'm at Doors. Also, I plan on doing other Roblox 4 games. So, let's head down the road. So, D Class, so for those of you that don't know, SCP stands for Secure Chitain Protect. It's this pasta, creepy pasta thing online that's been. That's I think still pe people still it's still a bit of popular and that people still like. But yeah. This game also it's like takes place where there's these anomalous monsters or items and you there are these scientists that research in order to contain and protect them. But people don't aren't really able to contain them most of the time. And in order to find out what the dangerous anomaly does, or if it's dangerous or not, they have to they have to send in death row inmates, which they call D-Class. And we play as we play technically as a D-Class because we are a death row inmate. This shows us beforehand. The game itself shows us beforehand, so. Uh, the game itself lets us know there's like a lot of war and I've missed a lot of recording because the video I had to do with the videos for the recording session. <clears throat> so, got corrupted or other stuff. ADHD is hard, man. It's hard to focus. I'm going off on tangents here, but you might, guys, I don't know. Let's get this run. I want you guys to stay here till the end of the video. Also, we, I know some of the monsters, because there is lore for those monsters I was referring to, or anomalies. So yeah, the anomalies could be monsters, uh, items. It's weird. You're gonna have to, like, watch Google YouTube. I want you guys to Google YouTube video videos on SCPs, if you don't know about them, because it's very interesting. It's very good. They have tons of them on YouTube. But if you do know what an SCP is, hit, um... Type down what your favorite SCP is. It doesn't have to be a number, it could just be the name. In fact, I go by most of the SCPs by names instead of numbers. There's like a lot of them. Mine would have to be the Hard Destroy Reptile, and I have a few others. Like, there's a lot I like. So, the Star Eyed Child is one of my favorite ones because I feel bad for her. So, start. Yeah. I could leave that in and let you guys cliff hanging it for the next video and I could tell you about that. <laughs> That's a calculator. Yeah, it's, the gameplay is a bit really similar to that of doors, so I'm gonna like stay quiet for some parts. But yeah, there's this two entities, one's evil and one's good, but I'll show you the file. I actually have photos for that and I'll show you I'll do a war video on this. Because I've never done a video like that before and I've always wanted to try. So Four six, and the dog's barking. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, that was like screech, and that was a hallucination or something. 
Ой! I love the animations and artwork. I love the animations, artwork, I love the details. Did that guy just do that? There's a monster in there! They have like their own- that's probably one of their custom ones. They had an update, the flash- this is new. Another tracker right there. What is that noise? Oh, it's it's the tantrums of darkness. I'll show you. I'll show you what this one does later. They should add stun guns if we're an SCP. I mean, dig class personnel makes sense because sometimes dig class personnel. You know they have. I'm glad I did not click on the door. Pipes. One of my favorite puzzles. Oh, it's not that pipe. I was like, it's my favorite puzzle. Other trucker! Get away from me! Something's following me! I, there's, there's something that's following me! Okay. Can we just swim out? I could just swim out. There's been times where I could actually just swim out. Battery. Yeah, two two batteries. Oh. Alpha. There's like that was like this entity, the one that keeps like doing that. Yeah, that one right now. That's known as the angler. It's literally an I'll show you the document for it later. It didn't get me, do it? No, I'm good. It was just the music. It was just the music. It was just the music. This game is getting my edge. I will do a quick playthrough. I keep forgetting I want to do that. I'm trying to save the battery on this. Hold on. We inserted a bat. Who's we? I just understood. I just. Future Mike here. So it turns out that we inserted a battery might actually be a odd be a glitch because sometimes I'll say I inserted a battery instead of we. Just thought we got, I thought, just thought I'd let you guys know to prevent any confusion. There's like three of them in total in canon, that's the war. Which I think I mentioned, gave you guys a warning that I was going to describe the war. But anglers, uh, I don't know how they feed. They kill people using EMP or, the, no, they don't kill people. They cause EMP damage and other stuff. But yeah, I'm just. I don't know. They have different doors, as you can see. So a lot of this is custom. There's like a lot of waterfalls, which is very cool. And a lot of damage. You can see a lot of damage to this. Oy vey. I'm like looking around me. No. What do you got? Oh, uh, that's the AI would have attacked us, by the way. So. Break, break. So we can have to we have to dodge or power these off. It saw me. I'm up 40 health. I can power one off. Space forever. Dang it! Yeah, this is the guy. Yeah, we keep dying. I think our characters are mortal cannonly. Oh, you. you. Smug man. 
Uh, there's turrets, so it's part of the AI known as Nato. As we mentioned before, I can actually zoom in for you. Navi, not Nato. I keep calling it Nato, because it sounds like an AI. So it controls the, the, the turrets, but it's obviously gone rogue. It's supposed to be designed to protect... Well, it's actually designed to kill people. I guess it gained through self-aware. The internal defense system is designed to work best against humans and living organisms. So I guess it's controlled it. And, uh... Nato is like, or, it's Navi. <coughs> Navi, Navi, Navi. Should not have to worry about MRP and LP, RP. I guess those are like the ranks, because you have like different ranks in the SCP universe. So you have MRP and LRP. So yeah. So studs, I have to like hide behind them and just power them off, as I mentioned before. You guys could take your time reading this. I've done this enough, but... I like the AI. That wasn't a thing we had to worry about at doors at all. Urban Shade, thank you for participating in the turret accuracy test. The results have been very informative. Thank you. I do what I do best. Oh, that was sarcasm, wasn't it? Aw, he cares. I don't know. <clears throat> but that's one of the anomalies that keeps telling us he's forced to work for us, and I feel bad about him. Well, actually, uh, you guys want to learn more about him right now, we could actually do that. And uh, the, the angers. So there's a total of three or four, I remember. Die again. That's the anomaly, that's him. So we got we want to go for him, the guy who hands us that document. My wife... No, this is the... Where is it? My, okay, we have the saboteur... This is what his name is, the saboteur. So, let me read this about. Z13, new codename, the saboteur, which, previous codename, handyman, real name, Sebastian Solis. It's to be killed on sight without hesitation. Z13 is incredibly dangerous. Caution is required of a canter. Despite his size, Z13 is incredibly nimble, allowing him to quickly maneuver and outmaneuver and flank operatives. It should also be noted that C-13 is currently in possession of our experimental portable scrambler, meaning that any CTV, radios, and other communication equipment will be rendered offline within a blink-by-blink blink stud radius. So there's different parts about him, but basically he was a human, innocent guy who was convicted for a uh, mass murder that he didn't do. And they did experience on him since he became a D-class. You become a D-class if you're a homeless person, or if you've committed serious crimes that give you death penalty or worse. So yeah, they did genetic experiments with like sea snakes, great white shark, DNA strands for blue whale, you, they, to give him like human gills so they could turn him into a weapon. But uh, by the time they realized that he was an innocent man, well, it was too late to revert him back to a normal human. And now he's stuck there for a life. For a crime he didn't make it. They didn't even do anything about it, which makes me mad. I actually like the character. I like uh, the saboteur a bit. Or Sebastian. I guess I could call, call him Sebastian. Good people. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll show you guys these later, but yeah. Ivy Station is a nasty bugger. So, Piles of Mass, Void Mass, is the one I keep looking around. So sometimes you'll notice I'm not in... <clears throat> well, I'm not in a uh, locker. They hide in lockers and will attack you, and, and you, they can kill. They all kill you like one shot. They suffocate you actually, but there's other stuff. Um, I'm going out. I'm gonna blur out. Future me, blur out these. The anglers. It's called the angler. I'll read this out loud now. I'll get myself like a minute, a few minutes to read it out loud while I'm recording. But yeah, you have Pinky, Blitz, Brown. So it's what I think it's the gray variant that keeps doing that. I don't know. I've never actually checked to see the color. I might do. There's a lot more war here than doors. <clears throat> and people have been doing videos for that, so. We accidentally. I think we, we died to the turrets, and those are hard. Those, there were like too many of them, so. 
we're doing a video with you guys. If you guys want to hop in, I could actually send a code now. Trixie up. I don't think she does Roblox. I think she'll be doing that. Oh, never mind. I have the answer for me. I didn't even try. I have a lot of credits, I'm just realizing. <clears throat> we want to find a crystal. They keep mentioning crystals, if you guys already noticed. We have to find the crystal, and I think we beat the game. So, I'm guessing there's going to be like 100 floors because it's inspired by doors. Muscle entities. The mechanics itself are kind of, you know. Yeah. Actually, they don't give it- they don't have a YouTube tag anymore, do they? Okay. Let's try not to die. To die and finish this. Well, that's- that- that's- hey! I think he's just upset and he's trying to like find the humor because he's a human in her mind, you know. Sebastian is. I I forgot his name. I didn't pay much attention to it. I wonder what he was evil. That's why I bought, you could, you actually have to buy that document. Uh, but you could actually meet him because he's like, oh wait for me. I keep spoiling it for you guys, but it's, I'm just like pointing out things, trying to like inform you guys. I don't know. I may know what I'm doing wrong. If you have gone this far. Skittle Squad is coming! Fend for yourself, mate! Yeah, so, wait, we can actually see now. That's gray. That was definitely gray. Oh. Something's crawling around in the vents. That's what it sounds like. Or pipes. Oh, lag. Yeah. Okay, this is like new, the, the area. Okay, that's completely destroyed. Okay, we're gonna see if we, okay, once I start seeing those enough, watch what I'm gonna do. See more of these, there's a chance a certain guy might spawn. Or not. It depends on the amount of rooms he's in. We can actually see the color of the trails. Are they still there? Okay, those guys will attack you straight up. Okay, there's more of those rooms. We're gonna wanna fight him. You know the drill by now, don't you? I'm dead. How did I die? I died to the anger. 
Okay. Out of sight, out of mind. Wink, wink, <laughs> nudge, nudge. Out of sight, out of mind. I think it's us. We're the same person, probably. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, here's what I'm gonna do, since I have been noticing I have had a problem with the audio where it will corrupt. Like, the audio is still there. It's distorted is the best way to describe it. It's not literally distorted where it's like, I don't know. But at some point at the start of the video, I notice that at some point it eventually gets distorted. And when it does, you can't hear my voice and the audio in the background. It's like very irritating here. But you still have the video. So I'm gonna, for some parts, I'm gonna, when that does happen, I will have to force forcefully remove the audio entirely, which means it's gonna remove a lot of war or important gameplay mechanics, especially jokes I've made. But at this one it's just gonna the next next uh, recording session for th this one in particular, this recording session. I'm just going to not talk at all. And I am just gonna like do a gameplay and you guys are gonna hear the audio. I'm gonna have like some music I'm gonna playing in the background uh, that I'm listening to so I don't fall asleep. But other than that, let's get on the show. Okay, I have set myself the cake photo. Was it worth dying and reversing a run to? Yes, yes it was. Is it good? Yes, yes it is. Am I an idiot? Yes, yes I am. Hey guys, Day here, and I, this is after the cake scene, like a month after. I'm still recording this. I don't know if I put this this part, the hour, one hour and 37, 17 minutes, or maybe it's an hour or 40 minutes long. Or two hours probably but I put this part this video in probably a part or something I don't know as I'm recording this I what do you want to mention I did realize eventually that in canon for the story of pressure that Navi is literally just Navi Pat and Navi are connected I don't know why it's that slow, but um, for some parts of the video, I will show unless I feel like it's repetitive and you guys don't want to see it. So, also, I might play whale noises in the background because of ASMR, because that's what this would be. So, let's begin with the video. Also, every now and then, I do want to mention, I do have, uh, since I muted to prevent the audio problems, I'm using chat to talk when I record this instead of, so like, you know, when I was remain, remaining muted, so. I just got my stuff and then it just occurred to me. That Navi is the AI, right? In Navi path. I am so slow sometimes, and it's extremely funny. So, uh... Okay. Here it is. I got this part doesn't really matter. I'm just referring to Navi. I just r realized that... This sign, the 014 here, is what a screen that Navi uses if it's like a fake door, like the good people, so I just realized that, so. But, uh, yeah, he has another dialogue where instead of like calling you a goddamn idiot, he will literally say, apologize, like, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know. But I get terrified of this because I realize what this thing is. Uh, it's the living statues. I hate them because they utterly terrify me. Fun fact, I'm not a huge fan of SCP. Uh, I think it's called Peanut. Yeah, these these ones, when you see them, uh, I think they start to follow you. You start to hear the sounds. So I turn it around every now and then. I do that a lot all the time, actually. I don't have to pressure. So. I'm just, like, looting. Because I realized I need more uh, files. So. I'm trying to piss it off. 
a very wise idea just to piss off the giant statue that, that, that spits acid. Yes, piss off the giant statue that spits acid. What it was I thinking? Piss off the statue. Just piss off the statue that will spit acid and melt my skeletal face right the fuck out. <laughs> Let's piss off a skeletal statue. And then I think... When I was recording this, I think it was following me. Also, I sometimes I have some memory problems. I'll like look, double check for Peter Boy just to make sure I haven't got over or anything. I do that a lot in real life. I, I also I know sometimes I just like walk around in a daze, and I have no clue. I'm just like s spinning or stemming. I don't know. It's where you spin around and you feel overwhelmed. He's still there. I figured he would be following me, but I'm glad to know I didn't get my dumbass face melted off. That would be an awful, awful treatment. Not only do I not have skin, I'm just a muscular skeleton. My muscular skeleton. My muscular Oh yeah. I hear Mr. Happy Hungry. You wanna eat me? One day the first. What was it? There is this joke. I do sexual jokes about the characters. I mean, most of our adults are just like sentient animals. So, let's do it. I think like one attraction I have for Sebastian is just his voice. And I feel bad for his character. There's like other characters, like in some anime that I feel bad for. Yeah, there's like a lot of creepy people who have like, I think I'm realizing now, who have pressures on Sebastian. I find you Sebastian slightly attractive in the voice. In the photo, he, yeah, he's kind of attractive. He's like, think about it, like, if it wasn't just the stupid Roblox character appearance, so. What am I referring to? Am I referring to room? The room layout is near this. Okay, here's what I mean. This entire room. Hold on. Oh. I think... Yeah, I was referring to the room layout, this room in general. So this is new. Or I could not be referring to that. It says me... I, was, I said maybe it was a bug. I have no idea what I'm saying. It's better to use this, the chat in Roblox, because no one can report you, I guess, when you're like playing by yourself in these games. Unless it's an ad watching you. So. Hi! Oh, it's my favorite character. One of my favorite buddies. Who I can't kill. Now I think about it, I can't kill a lot of them. I can't kill a lot of them. That flicks me off. Uh, I want to shout out to my, uh... What is it? Because I'm doing... I'm going to do probably, like, five videos... So this is going to probably go in the second, or the probably the second video. Because the I'm going to have certain things doing. And I got my room, like, relayed out. That cake photo, though, that was good cake. I love how I can hide from it. I hid there in so well. You suck. Uh, what's it called? Eye Alger? Was I calling it Eye Alger? Eyes? I'm trying to remember now. I usually get the names. I started getting them better, and the names better. I noticed there was like another thing, I think. I missed a- I missed a jump drive! No, no, go back! I missed the- I missed the jump drive. I'm just realizing that now. I think. In one of the drawers, I missed a jump drive. 
Uh, I'd rather be rich. In these games. I don't know. They added a bunch of new secrets recently, which I'm going to be showing around. A lot of heavy related lore stuff. I have a younger, my younger foster brother, who I'll be doing this. We're, uh, we're going to call him Null, as in nothing or zero. But yeah, he's gonna. I'm going to do a playthrough with him and see if he wants to, because he has a Roblox account and did, and he actually did a complete playthrough. So. So it's kind of, it's like you need to do like multiple you want to do this with multiple people to do the complete playthrough. So but I do this on my own just to show secrets and stuff. This took me three minutes. Let's pause it right here. I love the puzzle itself, it's just fun to play. So let's time lapse. I didn't do a time lapse. Mother trucker. Father, daughter. I've nearly got that finished, I think. What was it? I'm, this is just... Oh my god. I think it took me more than three minutes. ADHD makes... Yeah. I'm like... So the graphics have changed a bit. Yeah, it took me more than three minutes. I do this for you guys. So like, subscribe, share the video to your friends and family. They might think I'm stupid and not like the fact that I curse though. I don't care, I'm a gangster, Witherstorm. I'm ghetto. Okay. I'm dealing with Navi, I see. I call him Nato. I just remembered. It. I'm calling him Navi now. I call him Nato. I'm like, screw you, Nato. The good people, I feel like, trash the place. I'm noticing that. I think I say, uh, 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 stay alive. Stay alive. I remember trying to like escape. I was like, I was very concerned about my health. I was trying like, I want to get a complete playthrough. Each one of them, that's always my goal with games like these, to have you to go through a hundred of something. I think there's like two games like this. This is Inspired by Doors. And Iron Lung, which I've never played. I've never played Iron Lung, and I never heard of it until like, I was reading what this game is inspired by. And it's about. This is a new structure. I think I'll make a comment about that. This this right here is a new structure. So. 
How can I hide the, the, the mouse? Can I do that? I don't know, it won't. There's like almost no way to do that, so. So, for me at least. Mountain Dew, I feel like I want to drink something whenever I see play this game. I just want to drink the Pepsi. I said so cool, new door. Why did I think this was cool? I think I just like the, the icon. I think if I remember, remember correctly, the SCP Foundation, or whatever this foundation is called, is called, uh, Black Side. I always hate getting these vents when I have a dead like, lantern or something. So... I like to double check each area. But it's called, if I remember, as I said before, the uh, Black Site Foundation is basically like the SCP Foundation. It's literally kind of the same in the Summer Universe. It's not, I say Summer, it's not exactly in the SCP Foundation. Like, duh. But, yeah. I'm like looking around, seeing how many of these doors are. Here's demonic noises. Oh, there's a what's it called? Ifest Station. That's what it's called. I sure remember the guy's name. I hate you, Ifest Station. And there's the hentai guy. Hentai guy just out of nowhere. I'm referring to like the puddles of void mass. I realize I can't go. I realize I have to go down there. No, I have to go down there. I'm like, I just like, I was like mo moaning. I was like, no, I have to go down there. I don't want to go down there. You can't make me. That was like a 15 health when this happened. Does anyone know what this is? Does anyone know what this is? Yeah, I've been figuring out what this plant thing is. What is this? Could someone please tell me? Because I have no clue. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Pre Roblox Pressure and want me to continue the series, Please leave a like, subscribe, comment down, and share the video, I think. Or, and don't forget to set your notifications to personalized. It's, subscribing is free, and you can always unsubscribe later at any time if you want. I'm trying to get currently to 200 subscribers, so if you guys want to help, help me and join the Ember Army, I'd be glad to appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next video. Ember out. <laughs>